one of us, that's 20, 20, 21 days, or yeah. 20 days or so, 21 days. And then one, like four times a week that we don't eat. That's the time that we go eat trash yeah. on Wednesdays, uh, like when, when the UN bring their trash. So that is the time like you, you gotta do everything you can to to get some expired food, rotten bread, yeah. anything to eat. We eat that rubbish that day, and that's it. We, we, we don't we don't eat that day. So um, we run it this 18 miles. Somebody said like, how do you run 18 miles and not feel hungry? Because that's another way of distracting yourself from not thinking about okay that is a little corn there like, I, wanna, I wanna have a, one or two just to chew it and it will be attempted to be able to like you're reducing the rationing that we yeah. will not be able to like make it to the next distribution period so you, so we teach ourselves we go running we play soccer all day we come back we, we do everybody do their own chores and I used to be like sweeping the you know the, the, the compound some people went and fight the water some people go for the firewood out in the woods we all cook together and then um, at midnight we eat, we see the stars because we nobody we never had books to read uh, for stories. We, we the stories that we are we are telling um, all the boys are telling us is like you know the stars and it's like that and what the stars mean and um, and also the stories about now what what happened to you like in the past, what will happen to you now forward because everybody have a different you know different how they get there you know and some of them witness their family get killed in, you know in, in front of them so imagine that kind of story is like okay tell us about how you how you why you get how do you, you get here it. you know yeah. so you can actually make kids go crazy you know because they will, they will go back and think about like man like I'm, I'm, a, I'm an orphan yeah. you know I don't have anybody to take care of me so we're trying to see like we are here with your community we are own like you know, all the boys are your your mother, your father, like your uncle. Like we all support each other, and we we, we get each other together. We just bond. Like you know, we are laughing. You know, it's a sincere laugh. You know, because when the funny stories told, and we just laugh, and, and that's it. And then the same day, next, next tomorrow, for ten years, yeah. we, did, we did that. And um, so, yeah, and the whole America thing came in, and it was it's the sweetest. It was a dream. And um, and when that happened, we actually saw the plane came to the to the to the, uh, to the camp, and actually kids went in. It was like, oh my God, this is another. The door just opened. God opened another door for us, an opportunity. And um, so um, that's why we are here. Amazing. Horrible things. Yeah. And then you see the opportunity to go to America, and you're like, God provided a right, door. Right. How did you not sit there and be like, well, but my Parents were being killed. Mm -hmm. My homelands being overrun. Right. So we, we don't we don't think about South Sudan when we are there. We think of, we think about there is we have one Bible, one Bible in the whole camp, and we have one church, and that church was only place that like we, you go in, you get you feel that like joy, mm -hmm. you know, because we get to sing, we get to dance. We get to wash it and we get like a Bible which is open. We think like everything in that Bible is, is God is speaking to us. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that's why my, my faith, our faith has been like really driven mm -hmm. by, by, by that. Because we never had video games or anything, anything else to distract us.